As Carroll County Public Schools gets ready to send both elementary and middle school kids back to school next week in some sort of hybrid fashion, those who travel by bus may notice new technology both inside and outside of the bus, including these cameras right here, which will catch violators if they run the stop arm. We have motorists that will continue on past our lights. Angela Williams, a school bus driver for more than a decade and now an instructor, has seen it all on the road. It is a very unnerving experience to see a car get ready to come through and we have to react. She told us the number one complaint from drivers, motorists who run the stop arm. We would have to be able to catch the motorist that comes by um, to try to get the tag number. But now with bus patrol, the camera system will be able to capture the front and the rear tag. To help solve this problem, Carroll County Public Schools, the Sheriff's Office and the company Bus Patrol teamed up to outfit all 311 county school buses with cameras to catch these drivers in the act. And we want people seeing the buses like they see a police car. They inherently slow down and stop and they're very cautious about what they're doing. Carroll County Sheriff James DeWeese says the cameras are a game changer. According to a state education survey, bus stop arms in Maryland are run an average of 112 times a day. School Superintendent Steve Lockhart says with buses off the road since March, the cameras couldn't have come at a better time. Anything that can add to folks uh, heating school buses, kids at school bus stops, when buses stop and the stop arm camera comes out, uh, making sure that uh, our students are as safe as possible. It has come at a perfect time. Video from the cameras is sent to the cloud in real time. Deputies then review it, confirm the violation, and send citations of $250 to the motorists. The tickets have no points. The program will cost the county nothing. It's funded by those citations, a small price to pay for the safety of school students. They're all children. And it's just like we have our own children on board. And the sheriff's office says any financial surplus would be used for both maintenance and training. For more information on this program, we've got some links on our website, WBALTV.com and on our mobile app. In Westminster, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV Love and News.